Let's go up front with Jeff here. Jeff Kasuf, ESPN. Hey, Jeff. Uh, how did you feel about the group's effort in terms of choosing between moments of transition and keeping it, and, and how do you assess sort of the ultimate final product in the, in the final third there? Well, I'll break it down probably from first half, second half, then first half, first 30 in the second half. And then with the changes that made, it probably in three parts. I think the first half really started the game really well. So it was a good intensity, great chances. Um, I think we rushed our play a little and intention is good. You know, so I, I can't fault or criticise the players for that, but it's teaching them the right moments when to progress and when not to progress. And then in and around the penalty box, how to access the right spaces in the right moments at the right time is going to take a little bit of time. But we made an adjustment at half time. I thought the team adapted really well to that really quickly, considering we've only just embedded structural principles. So I thought we were really dynamic with our movement in the first 15 of the second half. Good rotations, good decision making. It's the execution in and around the penalty box. It's just the small details like check to see where the goalkeeper is or check to see where you are in relation to the goal and just maybe just taking an extra minute, uh, an extra second, I think. Um, but I was really happy for Soph. I thought second half, the first 15, 20 minutes, I thought her mouth was so dynamic and Trin got a little bit more space. Um, but for me, it's execution. That's what I will focus on. Back up front. Yeah, right there. Hi, I'm Meg Hi. Linehan, The Athletic. Um, Alyssa earned her 100th cap back yeah. in Gold Cup, but was celebrated today. I was hoping that you could maybe talk about what you have learned about her with your time so far as a player and as a human. Well, I learned a lot last night because I was gifted the honour to be part of the 100 cap ceremony that the team um, do internally. So I learned a lot in that period of time stories from the players about their experiences, about who she is as a human, who she is as a teammate, who she's been in clutch moments, and got some really good insight into how much she loves crosswords. Um, but I got a sense from everyone that there's no greater teammate than a listener in terms of how she puts the team first and you know what she's done over the years. So today's result and performance was absolutely for her. Like we had a really special day yesterday with her, with the 99ers. So I think the team really wanted to, to demonstrate those things. And I've seen already, albeit very introverted, she's a fa fantastic human being. Who else we got? Pass it on. I am a Stephanie on this one. Like you, you know, talked about how you thought Mal and Soph were dynamic, Trini's getting in space. We saw Rose Lavelle covering a lot of ground, a lot of positions, and like you said, a lot of um, uh, subs. We got a first cap for Koi. I'm just wondering, with so many players on the field and all of them at times looking fairly dynamic, how much of that is, you know, the work you've done with the coaching staff defining expectations, and how much is these players just good soccer IQ and gelling really well? Um... Well, I'm always going to say it's great coaching because I value my profession and coaching is about putting players in the right positions to be able to perform. And of course, you know, the qualities of these players are there to deliver those things, but my job is to put us in the best possible positions. And uh, being versatile within the game because we're playing against a team who's very well coached who shut off spaces and you have to constantly find where they are and how they change and that's the part of coaching I enjoy the most like adapting um, but they're so intelligent they really are and I love the way we went up another level you only have to see from just an XG perspective at the end of the game listen it's two point something and should be much bigger because for the chances we created, we're not hitting the frame enough. I still think that's something to add. But 
I think the difference in momentum from first half to second half was even bigger for us, much more control. But I think we're only scratching the surface of that. I think there's another lot of layers to go for everyone, not just the group aside. Nancy, you had one? Emma Nancy Armour, USA Today Sports. Kind of piggybacking off of that, how nice is it to have three players like Soph, Mal, and Trin? And the, Soph and Mal have played together for a while, but how much can you see them building that chemistry and how f much further can they go? I mean, they're extremely dynamic. When, they, when we attack, it can be done really quickly, but it can't be just that. There's going to be moments we can't and we have to be a little more indirect and switch the pitch a little more and recognise the moments when we get locked into one side. So there's no denying when the game opens up, I think, we thrive. My goal is to thrive in all moments. So we still have a lot of learning to do with that as a team, as a collective. But if we use March as a reference point... And I think it's fair to say this game was much more measured, much more controlled, um, limited them to very little. So step in the right direction. All right, we're just going to take one from Jason online, and then we're going to go Jonathan, Sanjay, and Andrew, and then we'll be done, because we've got to go to D.C., people. Go ahead, Jason. Uh, hi, Emma. Thanks for speaking with us. Um, uh, I wanted to ask a little about uh, Rose's role today. We're very used to seeing her create off the dribble on a regular basis, and today it seemed uh, much more of her threat was coming off the ball, breaking in, be in behind Mexico's line. I was wondering if you could comment on her performance and, and that aspect of it in particular. Um, to be honest with you, I need to watch it back to answer all of that the way that you might want me to. And I say that because... There's just so many things that you're looking at in the game. That's why you analyse it. But I think she can be a threat short, and I think she can be a threat long. I think when teams block the inner corridors and you can't get straight passes up, you have to be more rotational to get on the ball. She's so intelligent, really, really intelligent player and someone that I think recognises those things. Um, but until I watch it back, I can't really comment any more than that, to be honest. Jonathan. Jonathan Tenham on the Philadelphia Inquirer, Emma. Um, you mentioned the balance between pushing forward, not pressing, not all that stuff. Where for you is the balance of the extra pass versus the quicker shot? Because yeah. Sophia said when she was out here, maybe we could have shot a couple more times than we did. <laughs> Um, that's what I love about her is she's thinking like that um, for me it's when you get around the penalty box and the team and opponent is already set you have to work the box a little better and also always maintain width sometimes I think we're a little impatient we're going to be intricate quick touch shot I don't think we do enough to break the opponent down and get into the key areas we want to go from one end to the other quite quickly and it's just having different different skill sets. And I think hopefully that's what I bring to the team is a bit more knowledge in and around when the right moment is to go directly to goal and when not to. Sanjay. Hi, I'm Sanjay from Backfield. Uh, you were asked about Rose's role. I just want to ask about Lindsay. It seemed like she was trying to receive the ball a bit higher in the second half. Could you talk about any instructions, adjustments at, at halftime and how you think that dynamic went with, with her and Rose? I, I, I really won't talk tactically because I just I want to win and it just won't happen. I will say that, yes, we made some changes and you are correct in your observation, but I'm not going to go into detail about what we did exactly. Um, but, you know, Lindsay... What I will say is that Lindsay has been off the back of like not playing from Leon season ending. So 60 minutes was the right amount. It's considered it's like you know, a build-up game for her. And Lindsay, as I've mentioned before, can easily play an eight in the 10 position. And her opening up the pitch for us, I think, added another dynamic. We'll finish with Andrew. Go ahead. Thanks, Aaron. Andrew Jones, Believe Network. Emma, now that she got through this one, yeah. will England win tomorrow? And 
the Euro final? I sincerely hope so. I, I hope. I'm in DC, it's a day off tomorrow, and I for sure will allow myself and some of the staff permission to watch that game. And I know I'm Team USA, but seeing as USA are not in the Euros, I really hope England win. <laughs>